Hi guys, I sit here and welcome back to, or welcome to I should say, seeing as this is not a back, to a brand new series. Um, and this is a mod pack called Crafting Paradise, um, which was entered into the Jam Packed competition on FTB. Um, it's a mod pack by Lumercion. Uh, possibly mispronouncing that, but certainly check this one out. If you do want to play it, let me just get there into the thing. There is a code, and you basically, the mod pack code is Crafting Paradise, or one word lowercase, on FTB. Anyway, this, uh, the jam, if you're not familiar with the Jam Pact um, competition, it was similar to Mod Jam, but the idea was to make a mod pack. Um, and the main criteria is it had to use the hardcore questing mod, uh, mod. And this one is absolutely unique in its application. So let's have a quick read. I'll, I'll kind of paraphrase this because it's, it's quite long. Um, but basically, humankind went on to build bigger, better things. Space Elevator, the Atlantis Project, 25 mile pizza, which sounds delicious. Uh, and finally, people believe there was nothing more left to do. A new idea was brought up. Build a new world from scratch. Um, blah, blah, blah. Some wanted a world full of magic. Others wished to use a world to expand industry. Wished it to be a fresh world full of nature. In fact, there was a whole load of ideas. Blah, blah. These people were simply known as the architects. I am the last surviving architect. And this is where we are going to craft a new world. A large number of bios from the old world were saved into spatial storage cells for the architect to research and use shortly after the rest of the world went into a state of stasis awaiting the dawn of paradise. You awake from your personal stasis an indication of the previous architect's failure. All that's left to do now is to carry out your task and craft paradise. So, what we've got here in this world is, apart from two copies of the questing book, a copy of World Domination, a copy of Materials and You, which I've seen a million times, is this huge honking great square with, you can see here, spatial pylons just off in the distance. And this is a 128 by 128 spatial thing. We have an ME controller with no energy. We have a spatial IE port and we have a common forest um, biome stored, 128 by 128. And we are in skyblock mode. Just to start off with, because I am LP LPing this, I have up to my lives to 15. I've got a death counter which will happen should I die and I will basically cheat lives if I need to to keep this going um, just because I don't like having a series ended because I derp up slightly more than usual. So this is HQ que uh, a hardcore quest mode. Um, we can go in there and Dreaming Paradise is the only unlocked one and here we are with using the book. So very similar to Agrarian Skies it's going to teach us how to use the hardcore questing mod. So usual thing let's get in here and pop that uh, craft up the old planks, go in there, claim the reward and straight off the bat I've got another book for some reason. A whole load of stakes now. Hunger overhauls in, so stakes only stack four deep. First thing to remember. Uh, and we've got a heart. I won't, won't consume that yet because I've got the 15 lives. So that's one done. Bang in there. As before, we want a consume quest. So I'm going to manually submit three of my four planks. That's going to give me a quest delivery, quest delivery system, or as I prefer to call them, a QDS, a hopper, and two half hearts. And that's that one. So then we move on to here. It's using a detect to detect that I've got one plank, so it's going to give me four quarter hearts. And then the final one is to use the QDS system to do this. So we are going to, let's find a suitable spot spot somewhere there and we'll stick the hopper on top of this until I get an iron pick I ain't getting that back and we're going to select the task as usual we're going to click on the QDS and we are going to stick our plank in there it will go through bang we're complete and we claim that reward it is a, a basic reward bag oh man remember those basic reward bags on agrarian skies I haven't seen one of those in a while and it gave us a new biome, a new storage cell, overgrown greens. 
So here we are into the main questing. Let me eat a steak. Because it's not on Groho Vault, uh, let me just check my volume because I think I'm on full. I am, and I've left the music on. That's how new our world settings are. Uh, and while we're at it, let's be uh, nice, bright peoples. Because um, no one likes the dark. Except for vampires and nocturnal creatures and stuff. Anyway, um, so we're into here and we're now into the next quest, the button. So the spatial storage system was built with simplicity in mind. Shove the world cell to load into the left slot and it pops out to the right. So simple that a toddler could use it. In fact, there have been numerous cases where toddlers have been rumoured to disappear near spatial testing facilities. <laughs> I love it. So there's a common forest uh, cell left in the machine for you. All you have to do is press a button. Make sure not to activate it while you're inside the pylon area. Additionally, most tile entities read anything complicated like machines will not save into or load from the storage cell. So your base of operations should be built elsewhere, i.e. over here. Now, the other thing you'll notice, this is all chunk loaders as well. You can see a chunk loaders running all the way around this frame. So let's press the button, shall we? And bang. In we go. Instant forest. Uh, well, semi-instant forest is taking a while to load in there. And that should... And now it wants cobblestone. We have no means of getting cobblestone except from that world down there. So let us go. And the first thing I'm going to do is replace these rope ladders with something useful. Uh, once we've got through the basics and got the beds and yada yada. Let me... I'll go for an oak tree because there's a chance we'll get something like an apple or something to supplement me. And we'll have a bit of wood which we will obtain through the tried and tested method through the ages of beating at it with a book. Who said Minecraft isn't realistic? Okay, that should be that. Let's uh, go for a crafting bench. Uh -huh. We'll pop you down here, because you're not a complicated item. Let's get some sticks. And let's get some planks going. And bang. Got a muck pickaxe. Let's just go and find a bit of rock. So this is great because we've got the sky block environment. But what we've got is we've got these little chunks of biome. Which I think is brilliant. Now I'm going to... While I've got the time here. I'm going to grab a bunch of this stone. Because I can do other things with this later on. I have, I will confess, had a little play. For now, we don't need to go batshit crazy on that. Okay, so, while well, it's still daytime, and it's not going to be for much longer, we will hand this in, manual submit, claim the reward, and let's get the hell out of the forest, because Night's coming, and this place gets nasty at night. Hopefully, I picked up enough stuff to do a few... Uh, uh, see, this is what I don't like. This this bit here, it's just scary. Um, so, let's have a look. What we got for starters? We have a basic reward bag, and that is going to be... Oh, a volcano biome. Lovely. And we've got a plains, and we've got an overgrown greens. We've got a bunch of hearts, we've got plenty of steak, uh, and we've got some cobblestone. So let's see, what is our next quest? Well, we've got two, defending yourself and the scientific method. So let's start off with the scientific method. Now this is a new mod developed specifically for this um, mod pack. Um, and basically, what you do is you create research notes. So May plans to test the next day. Tim ran up to the first girl he saw and kissed her on the lips. Tim then closely observed that the painful smack he received on his in his face. Following day, he proceeded to repeat the experiment and the previous results occurred. Thus, Tim can finally call himself a scientist. <laughs> okay, so the research notes with paper filling bottom three by, so it's a three 
bottom two rows of the three by three crafting table with these in hand hold down the right mouse button similar to bow and let go when fully charged this will link the notes to whatever biome you are standing in you can check your progress by right clicking without fully charging it or change biomes by fully charging it elsewhere you will naturally begin to observe the area around you and add research points assuming you're in the same biome you're researching depending on how far into the biome you are this will be more or less efficient by right clicking without fully charging the notes a damage value will indicate how effective your research will be in the area you can also actively research the area by slaying creatures within the biome but this is generally faster but requires a fair amount of effort and is naturally more dangerous when your research is complete, the research notes you have, or the next ones you can get your hands on, will be consumed and replaced with complete research. So, we're going to need a crafting bench. Bonk. Because I left my other one down there. Let's just go and have a look what we got going on. And we probably see... Not quite yet. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to do. Um, I want to start lighting this island up a little bit I don't think anything can spawn in range of us but safety first uh, where are you five so we'll start here and then we'll pop over the, and we'll put one here uh, and we'll do similar now there was a double point here that looked suspiciously oops like we can borrow some torches me and then we'll cook up some torches through the night while we go through the night and do some of the uh, basics so let's put one there and we'll stick one there for now because um, if I F7 you'll see this this island is definitely not spawn free or spawn safe right where's my crafting bench we'll start here uh, and the first thing we're going to want to do is get a furnace going so efficient use we'll do the slab furnace uh, and we probably should do let me get back in there a chest just to start storing some of this stuff in uh, so you 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 definitely you you excess copies of that we'll have rid of some of well have rid of all of that and we'll keep the rest on us for now uh, and we'll have the rest of this tree in fact we'll make a stone pickaxe a stone axe and we'll have the rest of that tree because it's going to be quicker should i i know ex nihilo is on this or ex nilo or however you like to pronounce it is on here so we can do that and get some crookage going right from the word go could be useful oh, silkworm that's handy I haven't got any bone meal of course which is not an ideal situation but there is an entire forest down there so I suppose this makes a certain degree of sense to do to do this the skyblock way because we are playing skyblock so I think as we go through this there's a lot of mods in here which I haven't used so Batania for example is in here um, I know there's the oh what's it the tinkers tinker table for the mech, mech armor is in here uh, lots of interesting things let me just get rid of you for now well right what do I want to do I need let's have a look at my quest book for starters we'll do that well we'll wait the night over so that should give us that and we'll claim that reward you can go in there uh, as can my little silky worm uh, another basic reward bag which will probably be oh it's a more biome this time so this is all interesting now what I don't think is I don't think this has got enough power to actually redo anything until we get further into the questing line so let's have a look here it wants me to make a wooden sword okay 
that is easily accomplished. And while we're at it, I suppose the other thing we should do is get some of these saplings down so we've got handy wood, if you'll pardon the uh, expression. I've got handy wood. Um, yeah, now this one is a multi thing, so it now wants me to make a stone sword. So yes, I'm more than happy to oblige you and make a stone sword. There we go, one stone sword. Uh, you can go over there. And then, of course, it wants me to make an iron sword and some torches. Uh, so let's stick the remaining wood in there. And we'll see how much charcoal we get. I need 16, which I know I've not got enough for at the moment, but I have got some other bits and pieces I can burn. Uh, we'll have that and we'll make a pick because I will need that. And uh, stick the sword in because I don't need the wooden sword anymore. So that'll make me 12 if I had any more wood, but I can obviously chop down that tree as well. Um, and obviously plenty of those trees over there, but you can see that is not a friendly place to be at night. So my first mission will be to get some iron to I A make a sword and B make a pair of shears and hopefully find some sheeps in there so we can make a bed. Anyway, I'm going to um, just let this night pass and I will be back with you the moment we've got something more to do. So see you in a moment. Okay, the sun is rising. I've made 16 torches. I chopped that tree down. I've got a little bit more wood left. Uh, and obviously we've got the bits and pieces we've got from the night before. So our quest now is going to be wait for these mobs to die, for starters. This is quite a few... Well, dead zombie. That's what we like to see. It's the skellies that I want to see die. If there's any skellies down there, when I had a little play earlier, there was a whole bunch of skeletons just waiting to eat my brains. So, there we go. Let's head down and we'll have to play this cautious because there's creepers. Mob griefing is on. Just so you know. Uh, so what we need to do is find a... Well, explore this landscape a little bit and find some iron. And if we're lucky, I hear you. Where are you? Do a mistake. You'll keep me full for a very long time. I'll bet you're down there somewhere. Ah, there you are. Ice, yeah, get dead. And bone meal. Okay, what else we got? Now we need to find a cave. Uh, oh, Zomba. Come on then. Oh, the most lovely sound in the world. Zombies burning to death. Let's, uh... Right, now I want to... I heard that. Are you hostile? Uh, no, you're quite friendly. Okay, let me look, Mr. Spider. So you can see that's counting up as I'm in here. Let's uh, kill a spider and we should see now, yeah, it's showing it quite a lot higher. So that research is going to keep counting up now. What I need to do is find a cave. I could probably do with, that's rubber, so we'll not go with that. Let's, um, I don't need, I shouldn't need too much wood actually at this stage. Uh, let's get the right, oh man, get the right tool for the right job. We'll have that while we're here. As soon as it looks like an enderman, grief that. But this area looks fairly clear. 
So we've got a bit of ocean. Oh, what's this? Ah. I didn't make a shovel, so let's have a little peek down here. Copper. Iron. Let's just have a sneaky grab of the iron. So I say, this is really unique because it, it is Skyblock, but it's also survival in the traditional sense of the word. That's enough. I, can I sneak in there just to grab that? Now, the reason this cave appears to be light is apparently due to lighting glitches in the storage system. If I hit F7, you'll see this is all spawnable. So just so you don't think this is too cheating. Uh, that seems to be fine. Uh, let me grab some stone, make a furnace, and we can make the sword and shear that sheep that I can hear. And that will probably see us through the first episode. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about making the old... Let's just have a quick peek over here, because I'm curious. Hmm, nothing. It's a fairly small cave, actually, so we'll get out. I don't know whether... It, I mean, it's spawnable, but nothing is seems to be spawning, so I don't know whether that's going to be a problem or not. As I say, this is an incredibly new... Uh, oh, God, I need, uh, need to do that. I'm going to be crafting benches bloody everywhere in this place. And uh, I know I can make them into crafting... Um, uh, crafting hoofers. Two for doofers. Let me just stick a couple of those in. And that. Let's see how much of that iron we get. So there's a sheepy there. He's going to be my bed material. How are we doing there? 13,000 already. See how much iron we get out of that. Do I need to stick another one in? Uh, let me... I shouldn't have put full logs in, actually, should I? I bet you're all screaming at me for doing that. There's my iron sword. Uh, let me just get that one going. Uh, take you out. I just want some shears at this stage. And we are good to go. Right. Like that. I'll take this one with me this time rather than uh, leave them. It's, kind of it's a little bit disorientated because, as I say, it's Skyblock. But... It Ooh, hello. Nice little hole down there. That looks like could be some fun to cave in. Thank you for growing that wool immediately. Did you just... No, you didn't. So we've got another little beach out here. Another sheepy. We'll have him while we're here. I'm okay for food, so we don't need to go around killing the chickens and pigs at the moment. Uh, let's head up, just to kind of search around, just check it out. I think most of the mobs over in this corner should have despawned by a cow. Stay away from that edge. Man, you're suicidal. Another nice cave down there with some iron in it, but I'm not going to worry too much about resource gathering right now, because with X and a high low... Ex Nilo, ex ex girlfriend. Um, it should be quite possible to automate most of this in the way we did in Agrarian Sky, so we can get a lot of resources without having to mine. But there will be certain things I know. Appetite, or for example, has been disabled. You can't get that in uh, things. But I definitely need to make an easier way in and out of here. Easy for me, not for them. Mm, elevators might be interesting, actually. Right, so we have... Let me start off by doing the all-important thing. And... Bed. 
really important stuff. We'll just plop that there for now. Now we should be good to get my quest book because I've made an iron sword, so that is now complete. I think I'm going to go for the bubblegum broadsword. Um, that one has the ability to jump you backwards, which could be a bad thing in a sky block. That one has the ability to charge you forwards, and this one can block. I'm not so worried about the lives because, as I say, I'm not kind of playing it in that way. So claim. That opens us up to early efficiency, so that's a grindstone and a wooden crank, that's good, um, tinker stuff, that's good, wants some iron, gold, redstone and diamond, so that is either going to be through ex nilo or things, but we've now got these items opened up as well, which this is where we're defining the forest, and then odds and ends is all this weird little mods. So we've got Thorncraft, we've got the Deep Dark, we've got that's got to be to make a uh, TNT Yiffer. <laughs> okay, we've got Applied Energistics, we've got Modular Power Suits, we've got IC2 Experimental, and we've got Blood Magic in there. So that's looking interesting. I'm going to eat a steak quickly and let me go I'm going to definitely your storage is getting bad already da, 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 da. Uh, and uh. so the next thing will be to do the crank hand crank grindstone to get these going I think um, we've got some trees grown back up here and the other thing I need to do is light up this island properly so yeah we've got off to a fairly good start, and not that one. We've got to continue on through these trees. Oh, yeah, the old Tinker stuff. That's going to be easy. And then we're into... Oh, there we go. Hitting it ex nihilo after that. So it doesn't want to tell us about that, these little sneaky things. But if I go and have a look at Diamond, for example, you can get that from... Oh, you can do the coal chunk in the IC2, scrap box, redstone furnace, pulverizer, sawmill, and gravel with a 1% chance drop. So we could do it the cheeky way and just jump ahead. Anyway, it's night time again. Uh, not quite there, but that's it for this episode, I think. So I'm really looking forward to playing this. This has got a lot of potential for fun, um, as I say, with this unique kind of chunks of land storage so hopefully you guys like um and i will continue on and see you next time thanks for watching and bye for now